Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Benjamin Pak Choi again here, uh, bringing you another weekly event video. Uh, this is the Ferrari at Paul Ricard Challenge. Uh, you'll be controlling Charles Leclerc. Uh, so I've already run this once on 105 settings and uh, 105 AI driver level. And if you saw, I think I was ranked 12th. Um, this is only Tuesday, so um, definitely not going to stay in that position. Um, we're still doing uh, the races with the racing line, um, just because I'm still not quite comfortable yet um, at this high of a difficulty without the racing line. Uh, so the objective is to finish third or higher. Um, the setup I'm using is basically just a time trial setup that I borrowed from Simon Weigang. Uh The Ferrari obviously isn't the Mercedes, but um, I just made a couple little changes and I felt pretty comfortable in the car. So you're going to want to go with 1.6 or 2.6 wings. Transmission's 50-55. Geometry is right, right, left, left. Suspension is 1.9, 1.9, Your typical brakes, 150, and then minimal tire pressures. So if you do, if you have run this event already, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that you're really lacking um, straight line speed. So if you feel like you can handle the lack of downforce through the corners with the 1-6 setup, um, you know, go for it. It'll definitely help you out. But if you're not too comfortable in, in the corners with a low downforce, a lower downforce uh, setup, 2-6 uh, will probably be more stable for you. You'll just have to figure out a way to um, track down the AI on the straights. Um, so you'll need, to, uh, you'll need to overtake Ricardo and Verstappen, and I feel like Ricardo was a lot faster on the straights than Verstappen was. So this first overtake that you're going to have to make is, will be a little more difficult than your final overtake. And if you can catch up to Hamilton and P2, then you probably, I don't know why you're watching this video. Um, so uh, this is my first attempt at 106 AI driver level. Um, it doesn't end up too well. Because uh, I think I I end up um, invalidating a lap by going off track or something like that. So obviously with any of these kind of weekly events or esports qualifying events, you want to drive as clean as possible. Um, obviously if you want to just finish out the race and kind of figure out uh, how the race goes, then, you know, um, feel free to finish the race and um, just see how well you do with, with a couple of those um, warnings. Um, but this is this is when I caught up to Verstappen the first time. I thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult than this, um, but it wasn't too too difficult. Uh, but I ultimately choose to just restart because I had one or two warnings um, against me. So this next video here will be my most recent um, attempt. We are running with the 2.6 wings, and everything else is pretty much the same. Um, so there's a couple ways to really go at this. Uh, I tried uh, saving resources and not really using too much rich fuel or overtake. Um, but it took too long to catch up to Ricardo, and by that time we had caught up to... Um, or we had passed uh, George Russell. Uh, so you'll see um, Russell's kind of obviously getting passed by Verstappen, Ricardo, and ourselves. Um, and then by, by that point, um, even, even with using resources, it was really difficult to overtake Ricardo and then go and overtake Verstappen. So this time I decided that I'm just going to use um, my resources early on, use a lot of rich fuel, um, and a little bit of overtake. Not so much to the point where um, the ERS and fuel are all drained, um, to zero, but you know we're not we're not trying to save up our resources right now. Um, so you can see before the end of lap one here, we've already closed. I think the gap was like two and a half seconds at the beginning of the event, um, and we're already close to one second here into the DRS uh, range, um, 1.3 seconds. So Verstappen and Ricardo are both on hards. I'm not sure what their conditions are. Uh, but the mediums that we're on aren't um, too worn down yet. I, I don't remember exactly what the the level of our tires are, but they're they're good enough to set the fastest lap, so they're not too bad yet. Um, and Ricardo is really slow in the corners. Um, I think just mainly because he's on hard tires and we're on a softer compound here. 
but you can see before we even finish uh, get to the end of the first sector on the second lap we're already within DRS and so now we can sit back a little bit um, sit behind Ricardo save some fuel save uh, ERS and then once we once I feel like I have enough um, resources um, I will then try to overtake him um, but you can see right in front um, Verstappen's not too far ahead and in front of him is Russell uh, so you have to have to be careful because I think Verstappen eventually ends up overtaking Russell right at the beginning of lap 47 and if you are not careful um, Ricardo will catch up to the back of Russell too and he will have DRS for the, uh, the next uh, back straight uh, with the DRS zone. Um, I'm not exactly sure if Ricardo does that in this uh, in this race in particular. But as you can see, don't worry if you fall back a little bit too far. Um, he's Ricardo's really slow through these the, the corners, especially these long sweeping um, like double apex corners. So um, f I was able to run in lean fuel. Uh, a lot more than I expected to and was still able to keep up with him um, but you can see here on the straight even in rich and with DRS we weren't really closing up on him at all so you're gonna want to make sure to be try to stay as tight um, and close to Ricardo as possible coming into this DRS straight up here so as you, you, you can see here he's really close to Russ and I think he does end up getting DRS um, so some iterations of this race um, by this point in the race he was not close enough to Russell and the overtake was easy but as you can see here he is close um, and he does get DRS and I just decide to put it up into overtake too just so that we don't um, somehow f uh, slot in behind Russell and have Russell between us and Ricardo so I just made the decision to just go with Ricardo there and not let Russell get in the way. So now we will have to sit behind him a little bit while longer. You don't start off with too much fuel and, and right now we are really low on fuel and ERS is only at 22%. Um, France is an okay track for ERS um, harvesting. Um, it's not it's not terrible like um, Zandvoort but it's not really really good like other tracks as well so um, but just be careful with uh, your deployment and you should still be able to save enough um, in one or two laps to, to make a decent um, pass attempt. So now start of lap 48, we are really, really close to Ricardo. Um, we've, we've saved a little bit of fuel, um, made a little mistake there, so putting it into Rich to try and close that gap to him. Um, the good thing here is that I think you have eight or nine laps to um, accomplish this this goal here, so um, you have plenty of time to um, make your move. You don't have to rush it, um, rush any bad overtake attempts at all. But so here we go. We do make the move stick. I'm barely missing the track invalidation there for corner cutting, but uh, we made it uh, anyway. I feel like that that left hand turn um, right there is is very lenient when it comes to corner cutting, um, but just be careful anyway. So now we have five laps left to close up a two second gap to Verstappen, um, and opposite to Ricardo, um, Verstappen seems pretty quick in the corners and much slower on the straights. Um, compared to Ricardo so um, now we're kind of in the same boat as him um, but you just have to be patient um, I'm not sure if it was just me but it felt like every time I got to this point it would be really it's it's very difficult to kind of um, track him down for two or three laps but in the final um, lap or two like starting at lap 51 uh, I think he starts running out of ERS and fuel because he starts to he starts to slow down a little bit. So don't don't get discouraged if you get up behind Verstappen at lap 48, 49, and you feel like you aren't making any progress. Uh, I think he still has a lot of resources left in his car. His tires are still really 
really in good condition and um, you just have to be patient and wait for the last couple of laps I think starting lap 51 you'll re um, you'll see the Delta start to really dwindle down um, to um, to the point where you're within DRS so right now uh, I am using a lot of fuel in ERS but we still have plenty of laps left to kind of um, make sure we don't run out of fuel um, so you can either do that or just be patient but as you can see in the mirror Ricardo's um, right behind us too so just be careful not to let him overtake you on any of the, the DRS uh, DRS zones and the good thing about this track is really the only overtaking spots are the DRS straights. So um, once you get through there, um, even if the guy behind you is much quicker than you, you, you having the track position in the racing line will be will make it very difficult for for them to overtake um, through any sections other than DRS. Um, but see, as you can see here, uh, we're starting to catch up to him now a lot quicker than we were the previous lap or two. Um, the gap's down to 1.3. It's only going to get smaller and smaller. Um, now, if you want to, you can kind of um, pull back on the fuel and the ERS. But I think here I'm trying to get into his DRS um, just so that it makes it a little less risky for me to um, save resources here. And so by now, lap 50, hopefully you are within his um, DRS, and now you can just kind of sit back. Um, I'm negative uh, with fuel, but we still have, I think, three, three and a half um, full laps um, to, to the end of the race, so that's plenty of time to, to save up fuel. My goal now is really to just get in front of him and then kind of see if he can keep up or not and if he's not able to keep up then i can pull the fuel back a little bit and make sure i don't run out um, but obviously you need to get into p3 to win so um, you have to get in front of him eventually i just decide to get in front of him um, sooner rather than later because uh, he's he's kind of slow right now i don't know if he's going to be slow um, for the from here till the end of the race so I want to get in front of him as soon as possible it'll be easier to defend than it is to catch up to him in the last lap so now less than half a second behind him and I think this is where I make my move um, we don't have too much fuel left but like I said we still have a couple laps left so um, if I need to I can still put it in rich go into the negatives and save later um, about 25% ERS here um, it should be enough as you can see, unlike Ricardo, he's not um, Verstappen's not super fast on the straights, um, and his light's not blinking, so um, he's, I'm not sure if he's just not deploying ERS or his setup is just uh, he's got really high wings and he's just really slow on the on the straights. Uh, but now mission is accomplished, and you're really just um, maintaining your resources now and <laughs> just trying not to run out of fuel before the end of the race. So just kick it into lean. You probably don't even have to use overtake uh, anymore unless Verstappen gets really close behind you. And um, I'm surprised Ricardo's still really close behind us too. At 105, Ricardo was like four seconds back by the time I finished the race. Um, but uh, hopefully those two behind us start battling and um, that way we don't, we don't have to face too much of a threat from behind. So I am just putting it into Rich on the straights um, to make sure that um, the guys behind with DRS don't get a chance to overtake us or anything like that. But through the corners here, you can leave it in lean, um, save up your fuel. And even though we did pass for stopping pretty easily, we're not really pulling away from him by too much, but he's still within DRS. Um, so he's kind of using that to, um, to stick to us. I don't think I would be able to personally catch up to Hamilton and Botas, but um, I'm sure the esports guys would be in P1 by like lap 50. Um, but I don't claim to be a, a really good driver. Um, I'm still racing at 106 and I still have the racing line on. Um, 
but I just wanted to make this video for some of you guys that are, are, are racing at lower AI driver levels that um, might still be running into problems, not really sure how to run the race or what the strategy is. Um, but this event in particular, you have to watch your fuel and your ERS just because it's um, there's so many straights on this track. You really need to be running in lean fuel mix through all these corners here. Um, anytime you get a chance, I would say anytime you're not on the accelerator, like when, well, okay. Anytime you're not flat out, you should be in lean fuel mix um, to save as much fuel as possible. And then with over with the DRS or ERS, I should say, with ERS, unless you're trying to to overtake, I would just leave it in medium. And, you know, or if, if you find yourself like a 10th down right before um, DRS detection zone, um, then use it to try and get into DRS. Um, but try not to use your ERS. Like if you're on, your f on the first lap, um, you know, don't blow it all on that first straight trying to catch up to Ricardo, you know. Um, use a little bit to get up to speed and close the gap a little bit. But you're not going to catch up to Ricardo in that first lap, so don't run your ERS all the way down to zero percent. Um, it's just not smart. You you kind of put yourself on the back foot for the rest of the race. So you can see here, Verstappen's actually closed up really close behind us, and somehow Perez has passed Ricardo and is on Verstappen's um, tail as well. So I'm using all the resources that I have left um, through those straights to just make sure that I maintain this lead, and then through these last couple of corners here keeping it in lean and just um, using positioning to keep Verstappen behind us and it looks like we've done our job we've got a little bit of fuel and a little bit of ERS left just to use on this final straight here to make sure that we stay in front um, but that was it um, so yeah if you you know if you're having trouble um, if you're, if you're not, if you're driving with an AI driver level lower than like 106, 105, um, I hope this video can help you out here. Um, the key really is, like I said before, to save your fuel and save your ERS for, um, just the, um, straights and overtaking opportunities. And if you are not on a straight or if you're not flat out, um, you need to be in lean mix to save uh, as much fuel as possible. So I think you start out with um, only about 0 0.3, um, 0 0.3 extra lap worth of fuel. Um, so you really need to um, make sure that you're not um, blowing it all in the first half and then you know having a struggle in lean and standard um, for the last part of the race. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I think at the end we end up in ninth um, on the overall chart. Uh, it's pretty good for Tuesday. Um, like I said there, uh, it's still early in the week. And yeah, less than 2,000 people on. I'm sure there's going to be like five, six, seven thousand 7,000 people trying this eventually so we're ninth placed 106 ai level um i'm gonna try it without the racing line and see how i do um but good luck to you guys there's no there's no race um on the weekend this week um so you guys have all week to just try and do the best that you can for this um but good luck let me know how you guys do all right um and i'll uh, i'll see you guys in the next video um, again, if you think I've deserved it, uh, leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and remember to eat your bok choy, everybody.